On this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm going to talk about my journey in weight loss over the last eight years, since today is the anniversary, which today is July 1st. That's the anniversary of me being fit for eight years. I just thought I had a totally different idea for this Two Cent Tuesday video, but then today, which is July 1st when I recorded this, is my eight year anniversary of my weight loss journey. Back in 2014, I weighed the heaviest I had ever weighed in my life. I weighed around 165, 168, somewhere in there, and I'm five foot two. And that wasn't the only reason that I started this journey. I had a resting heart rate of 90, and I would get out of breath just walking from here anywhere. Oh my gosh, that, I need to change this. We had a trip planned to go skiing in Steamboat. It was our first ski trip ever. And I thought, if I can't walk from here over there, how am I gonna ski down a mountain? And I had degenerative disc disease, so my back was killing me all the time. Those were things that made me say, hey, I need to change things that I'm doing. So I started working out and doing what we called squad. It was like a high intensity workout for one hour. Completely quit drinking soft drinks and I haven't had a soft drink in eight years now. In the very beginning, I restricted what I ate a lot. I like tried to watch my calories and I watched my carbs and I did that probably for six to eight months and I watched the weight fall off. In 2017, I hit the lowest that I had been as an adult. When I was a kid, I was super skinny, weighed 100 pounds. I had two sticks and a ball, which was my legs. I was super skinny. And I had a really bad car wreck when I was 17. I mean, I lost down to like 70, 80 pounds while I was in the hospital for two months. When I came out, I gained a lot of weight but then I went back down and back and forth, but I was way better than I was the 100 pounds. In 2017, I weighed the least I had as far as an adult. I weighed 115 pounds. Why, I loved the way that I looked. My energy level was not there, and I just didn't feel healthy. At that point, I decided to go start doing some strength training, which scared me because I didn't wanna gain weight I thought in my head I didn't want to gain weight. And I've gotten, I've learned not to look at how much I weigh, but how I feel and how I look. The number of your weight is not what you want to look at. It's how you feel and how you look and how you feel about yourself. So don't look at that number and think, oh gosh, the scale's not moving or the scale's moving in the wrong direction because I weighed 115 when I, when I started working out with weights and I instantly started gaining weight. But I wasn't gaining fat, I was gaining muscle. And once I learned that I was gaining muscle and not fat and it was making me feel better and I was weighing more and I liked how I looked, that was when everything changed around. I absolutely love to work out and I try to do every, I work out right now five days a week and four of those five days, I work out about a 45 minute weights and I work about 45 minutes of cardio. And I do the cardio not for weight loss, but for health reasons, to keep my heart healthy and I think my heart rate, when I started this, it was about 90, and now my rest average heart rate is around 52, 53. And at night, 
when I'm sleeping, it dips down in the low 40s. I ended up getting to go run some mud runs and had a blast doing that. And it's helped with our YouTube and traveling. I get to do so much more now than I was before because before I just wasn't able to do it. Okay. We're at the incline and we've made it. 1,600 steps so far. And we have? 1,144 more to go. Hey, Stacy, look, I'm sweating. I ain't liking her very much right now, Stacy. <laughs> I've kind of been putting some pictures and showing you of what stuff I've done during this process. And it wasn't easy. I mean, the first six months was probably the hardest. But once I got past that first six months of just getting up and going and working out, I got to really where I love it. And now I get up, I look forward to going to the gym every morning. I mean, like that's my highlight of the day and it is a super stress reliever as well as making yourself healthy. Now, just make sure, I know I've already said it, but don't look at the number on the scale. Look how you feel. I feel the best that I've felt in years and I feel like I can do anything. And I know that you can do it too. If you are feeling like you want to get healthy, start with small steps. You know, maybe just cut out soft drinks. That, like, that takes on a huge amount of calories. I just drink water. That's all I drink. Every once in a while, I'll drink a half sweet and half unsweet tea just to have a little bit of something. I drink a, I try to drink a gallon a day. I don't quite always make it, but I get usually really close. So you can do it. And I want this to motivate you to know that it's going to be hard, but in the end, it's going to be worth it. I hope you enjoyed this Two Cent Tuesday about my journey. Till next time, like and subscribe. Thank you.